For the Lord thy God hath blessed thee in all the work of thy hand. He hath known thy walking through this great wilderness. These forty years the Lord thy God hath been with thee. Thou hast lacked nothing. The history of the Jewish people is a fascinating subject. By analyzing the past, we get a new understanding, and this affords us a fresh look at our present surroundings and of the future as well. Ben-Gurion University of the Negev, situated in the heart of the Israeli desert, is a meeting place for innovation and creativity. Here, from the sands brimming with inspiration, great ideas were born. Myocardial infarction, or heart attack, is a very devastating situation. It results in heart failure and death. So we devised here a new concept to treat the heart after myocardial infarction and heart attack by using biomaterials. It is a new concept. And we developed this material to be injected via the intracoronary. And only at the infarct area, this solution transferred into a hydrogel that mimics the extracellular matrix in the heart. And by applying this treatment, we can reverse the situation and save the life of people. It is simple and it can reach everyone. Thanks to unconventional thinking and an environment that forces us to seek solutions outside the box, miracles are created, thus enabling the desert to bloom. For Israel to compete in the world markets, we have to do unique things and not to do more of the same. In the last 20 years, with the help of our students, we were able to push ahead this project and learn the biology of these plants, including genetics, how to improve the wild types that we introduce that are beautiful, but not very tasty. This is a plant from the tropics, and we are in a desert with extreme heat, with extreme cold, with extra radiation, and we have to adapt them into these conditions. The Ben Gurion vision was huge. We just tried to add a small piece to this huge vision by blooming the desert area here in the Negev. We bred new varieties. We gave them the name Desert King because they were produced here in this greenhouse, in this location in Beersheba, in the middle of the desert. And they are much, much, much better than any other pitaya that you can find today in the world. So if this know-how will be applied to countries with minimum amount of water, they can produce food. And this subject is gaining momentum for the benefit of people, mainly in desert areas. From all the corners of the world, innovation is, in fact, being sought out here in the desert. And from here, technological developments emerge that affect the entire planet. Another real problem in the area of social network security is detection of unwelcome user. Imagine that your 12 years old daughter is accepting a connection from a 50 years old man that is impersonating to a teenager. How we can protect her? How we can detect the fact that this guy is a 50 years old and not a teenager? We have to develop a very, very advanced algorithms that will try to analyze the identity of this person. For example, by analyzing the textual messages that he's writing. I can derive the age of a person only by analyzing the age disclosed by its friends. We hope to develop new algorithms that will be able to tackle all these challenges and in general how to protect you to create this environment a safer place. Together, through our pioneering research, we are opening new horizons to make the world a better place. Ben-Gurion University of the Negev. Innovation from the desert. <laughs>